leading lady to the honour roll. A stunning victory that catapults this man into a league of his own. Japan's domination of the spring racing carnival has now extended to the Cox Plate with Lise Grisheur taking out the Wait for Age Classic. While the favourite certainly proved a popular winner with punters, it completed a history-making trifecta for jockey Damien Lane. Braden Ingram explains. Her feats won't ever be forgotten, but with Winx retired, it was time to crown a new champion. Mystic Journey carried Australian hopes, yet for the second straight week, Japan reigns supreme. Lee Brasher down the outside, Castle Vecchio a leak, but here comes Lee Brasher. Lee Brasher stops up, and the lamb of the rising sun wins the Cox Plate. Favourite Liz Grasher returned $2.50 for the win, ahead of Castle Vecchio and Tiaku Shark. Delight for trainer Yoshito Yahagi, while jockey Damien Lane enters rarefied air, becoming the first hoop to win a Golden Slipper, Caulfield Cup and now Cox Plate in the same year. I grew up as a racing fan watching this race and watching my idols win this race and to now be on the honour roll is just such a privilege. Earlier, the perfect lead-in for Melbourne Cup entrant Hunting Horn. Hunting Horn has won the Mooney Valley Gold Cup. Trained by Aidan O'Brien, the European galloper was immediately slashed from $51 to $18 for the Cup, while in the Group 2 Crystal Mile, a major upset from another international. Chief Ironside coming the best of days, it's a head bomber. Chief Ironside. Chief Ironside saluting at long odds of $27.90 ahead of Cliff's Edge. But in the Group 2 Phillies Classic, there was simply no splitting them. Pacino is trying to kick back in the middle just in front. Martha Lace coming out and they reach the line. Doing a dead heat photo. Dead it heat. is a dead heat. A dead heat on Cox Plate Day. Trainers Kieran Maher and Henry Dwyer forced to share honours. I said any danger, give me one. <laughs> Let me have one. It continued a stunning carnival for Maher. Last night his runner Loving Gabby upstaged short price favourite Bivouac in the $1 million Manicato Stakes. Braden Ingram, Nine News.